Well, it's Wednesday night and I came to the Bund to come and see the night lights. And I got here and thought, huh, that's a bit disappointing. And then realised it's quarter past eleven. Yeah, I got chatting to some people and time flew. But it's still it's a beautiful evening tonight. Temperatures absolutely perfect. It's just cool enough to wear a t-shirt, it's not too hot. It's a bit of a breeze. Ah, so ultimately I had to get a beer. And relax after a great day. Great day being for a nice walk in the park, had a bit of a sleep. I was a bit tired. I've been to see Luke. Have something to eat, and I've seen a new, a completely different area. And now I'm just going to relax, have a cigarette and a beer, <laughs> and check out Shanghai at night. I'll do a little bit of a 360. And I'll start over there. As I say, it's a little bit dark now, so you can't really see a lot, but. the bund there lit up with all its European architecture and then the river and across there the famous Shanghai site oh, in fact I don't think I've been across there yet uh, I've got plans for tomorrow and then Friday I haven't got any plans Saturday I've got plans so I think tomorrow uh, I think tomorrow I'm going out in the afternoon and then Friday I think I'm going to venture over and go and have a look at the tall buildings over there. I think obviously one of them will have an observation deck and I need to go up that just to put it in my little collection of observation decks that I've done. I've only been here three days but... <coughs> So far, this is my favourite place in Asia. Uh, it's such a nice place and safe, chilled, nowhere near as busy as I thought. The air is really clean um, and it's incredibly surprising how cheap everything is. It's literally cheaper than English prices in the north and you'd expect a city like Shanghai which is essentially although it's not the capital it's like a capital city you know it's the business capital of China and yeah just literally just go and buy a sandwich a can of coke and it's, and it's like three quid I'm like what, what the hell in Hong Kong that would be like ten pounds yeah it's like just a amazing place, amazing place. Yeah, I really, really like it here. Mm. Well, that was fun. I was just sat chilling, having a beer, and I noticed someone near me um, got up and walked off, and they left a camera. So I thought, oh, I didn't really want to shout because I wasn't quite sure what to shout. So I thought, I said it, I just chased after him. So I chased after him, and um, obviously in Chinese, said, Oh, you've, you've left your stuff over there. So he came back and said, Oh, it's not mine. So I ended up chatting to him. He was saying, Oh, wow, a foreigner can speak Chinese. So I chatted to him for a while, and then I spotted two two guys who were sat in front of us came up and said oh can you speak English so obviously I said yes and uh, and just on a different note I think I'm lost I'm sure this is the correct road but anyway um, <coughs> 
so then the Chinese guy was saying, oh, what they're saying, what they're saying, I can't speak English. So I was translating what they were saying. They were basically saying they wanted to know where to go out to have a good time because they've just finished a, a business trip. And um, so I was doing a bit of translating and then I asked Luke, who we were chatting to earlier, where, where can I suggest to them? And this guy suggested some places and then sidetracked by the fact that I could have sworn I knew where I was. Uh, I just I've ended up on a street where I've bloody lost, man. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and then someone else came up and said, oh, I just heard you speaking Chinese. Can I have a photograph with you? So I took a photograph with this guy, and then he wanted a conversation. So it's been quite a good little bit of practice. Um, Consult my phone. I wonder how have I ended up here? Oh, oh no, I, I've just I've taken the. I know what I've done wrong. I needed to walk one more block before walking across. One good thing here is almost everything seems to run east and west and north and south. You're finding your way around. That's not risk crossing the road. There's too many electric bikes. Yes, oh. That's been quite a productive hour, considering I was disappointed that I got to the Bund and didn't get uh, any footage of the lights. And. Uh, Hopefully those, those, those two guys, they were both Polish, really nice guys. And I uh, hope they have a good night. And I think they're going to subscribe to me, so nice to meet you guys. And uh, I think I'm going to call it a night. I think I'm going to call it a night because I'm going out again tomorrow with... Uh, Miss Ting Ting, who I went out with last night for a meal. Ah. It's like being back in uh, Kaohsiung again with noisy motorbikes. So I'll uh, catch you on the next video. See you later.